also say in the book that when I see words, they frighten me. I instantly tense up. So this is a potentially daunting situation for you, is it, to be here at a literary festival? Lots of people are always surprised to hear that I am dyslexic, doing live telly and autocue and emails and things like that. But actually, as it feels so relaxed here and so lovely, and um, I, and this actually this whole process of doing this book has has re- I'll be honest, it's really helped me. We didn't do much to alter the course of human history, did we? As one old spy to another, I reckon I'd have been more used running a boys' club. His evocative and brilliant books, and I'm quoting there from the current head of MI6, uh, have come to define not only the best of spy fiction, but also the tenor and texture of our times. Loved around the world by critics and audiences alike, uh, Le Carre's work has been published in 50 countries and over 40 languages. I thought I was writing this soft and fluffy thing and, and I've written this, when I reread it for the edits, I said I've written this dark, twisty book with rage on the page. The depth of the characters is, in a good spy novel, that's what you're really, that's what you're really looking for. When I started GCHQ, the main target was analysing the armed forces and the order of battle of the Soviet Union and the war, its Warsaw Pact allies. Now it's actually about the defence of us in this hall. Our democracy in our country is gold standard. I am not willing, nor will I ever be willing, to not be amongst the people who I represent. It is not an option. It is not one that would allow me to do my job. They could give me every risk assessment in the world. I have to not let terror terrorize me. I often ask people what they read during lockdown and if they read and what what was it that got to them? What was it that helped them or what was it that distracted them because I think we all we wanted a bit of solace didn't we we wanted a bit of escapism and we wanted distraction and I think also there's a kind of sense of comfort I think that's what I was seeking certainly in something familiar we are of course in the company of two extraordinary women they didn't just fight for king and country in khaki but of course They have just survived a second national crisis while reminiscing on the first. And I tell you what, if you found isolating tough, try being in your late 90s without much technology. It was a feat, wasn't it? Getting you on Zoom, Betty. Absolutely, yes. But you got there in the end. Nearly took off. (laughs) 